the buy it now price all right we want to make sure it's under fixed not auction it has to be under fixed okay going back to this fixed price okay I'm gonna pull up our calculator on the minimum we want to make sure it's 1.40 40% if we do a little research and find out that the competition is very low or no one else is selling the item you would be the only one selling this item that's great you can increase it to 40 50 60 set whatever price you want to set because you're the only one selling it okay in this example I'm just gonna go with the standard 1.40 so the item is 269 I want to make sure I calculate the shipping okay if there is shipping this is how you do it you add it to the cart and then you hit checkout in this example the shipping is free so there is no additional shipping okay so I'm just gonna take 269 multiply it by 1.40 okay pull up my calculator 269 times 1.40 so my sell price would be 376 okay 376 and you can put whatever change you want you can do 99 95 it does not matter all right now if you really want to sit there and spend the time and calculate how much money you would make if it's sold or when it sells rather pull up the eBay calculator so this item is gonna be listed at 376 99 so 377 basically okay so that means your buy it now price BIN stands for buy it now 376 okay and if I buy this home Home Depot, I'm going to be paying just basically the taxes. Taxes is roughly about 7%. So that means 269 times 1.07. That means I'll be paying about 287 for the item. So if I buy it for 287 but I sell it for 376, guess what? I'll be making about $44 in profit. Okay, that's not bad. So going back, quantity, you want to leave it at 1, all right? When you're a brand new store, you always want to put one. You don't want to put two, three, or four because as a new seller, you're limited to the amount of items you can have in your store, okay? So just put one for now. Duration, you can either do 30 days or good till canceled, okay? That's going to be on your preference. In my opinion, I like the good, I used to do 30 day listings. But I found it was a little bit more work relisting and managing the inventory. Now I just like to do it good till canceled. You want to make sure your PayPal is linked to your email address. Okay, so whatever email address you use for your PayPal, that's the one you want to use. Require immediate payment when buyer uses buy it now. I don't click on that. Okay, sometimes buyers want to take an extra day or two before they actually pay you that's fine okay you can leave that there shipping flat same cost to all buyers you can do UPS ground or standard it does not matter as long as it's within one to six business days okay so just use the standard services here all right you want to make sure free shipping is checked mark okay you're not charging for shipping because you're getting free shipping and even if you were paying for shipping from your source you're going to be factoring in the shipping price into your price anyway so shipping will always be free and makes your listing look better handling time to start off you can put two days as your story gets bigger and bigger and you have an awesome feedback you can change that to one day so that way you get this get it fast option for your buyers okay you always, 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 and I stress this because this generates 50% of my sales. This is the target audience that I go after. I go after international buyers, but I can't help it if people in the United States also purchase items from my listing. So make sure this is checkmarked. Use the global shipping program, okay? Okay, so it should look like this. Use the global shipping program. No alternative international shipping, all right? You want to make sure that these locations are excluded. Alaska, Hawaii, U.S. Proctorates, APO, FPO. Okay. Package type, just leave it as package or thick envelope. Dimensions don't really matter. The weight, you want to make sure you actually put the weight of the item that is a factor for your global shipping product. So going back to the product, this product is 49 pounds. Now sometimes the description on your source does not have the weight. Just do, just give it your best judgment and put the weight that you think it would weigh. It doesn't have to be perfect. Other than that, this is how it should look like. Buyer requirements, okay? 
Return policy, always do 14 day money back. Return shipping will be paid by your buyer. Also, you can charge a restocking fee for 20%, which will actually allow you to, to even make money even if the buyer returns the item. So make sure that I check mark that. I hit save, hit continue at the bottom, and that's pretty much it, okay? And the last final confirmation is the link below, list your item. And that's pretty much it. This item now is officially live. It usually takes about an hour to at most three hours I've seen it to actually be in the eBay search results, but that's it. You can click on view your listing real quick to make sure that everything looks fine. And here it is right now, 376.99. Everything looks good. Everything flows, it looks like a good listing. That's it folks, that's all it takes and that's how you create a listing from start to finish. Now, I'm gonna show you real quick, I'm gonna do one more, but this time I'm not gonna do any talking. I'm just gonna blaze through it. Actually, I'm gonna put a timer to show you, once you get really good at this, how long it takes you, okay? When you're first starting off, you're reading a bunch of stuff, you're, you wanna make sure you're doing everything right, you're clicking on everything right, and it will take you some time. It might take you five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. That's okay, but as you get better and better at this, you can do it relatively quickly, and once you create this listing, this listing is in your store until you remove it. So you don't have to worry about after someone buys it, you have to do it all over again. It's in your store, it's there for good. Again, until you want to remove it. Okay, so right here, I'm just gonna show you how quickly you can do a listing, okay? I'm, not gonna sh I'm just gonna share with you um, how I do it. I'm just gonna plow through it, I'm not gonna talk a lot, and I'm just going to just do it how I would normally do it, so you can time me. So we're gonna start the timer now. Okay, this is the item on these. It's a plunger. I want to list because I don't have any plungers in my store. Plunger. Let's see what we get here. Categories. Looks like it would be clean products, home improvement, plumbing fixtures, toilet. Continue. Okay. Title. Let's go and copy this right here. I'm gonna go here, type in toilet plunger, and uh, plunger bathroom cleaning master. Grab this one, holders, rub, sink, tub. Okay, I'm gonna save the images. Save the file as. Okay. Second image. Snipping tool. Save as vortex plunger. Trainer. Here we go. All right. I'm going to go back to here. Add my photos. Select photos. Open those two. Upload. Okay. Got to make this one the main one. Finish. Okay. Brand. Roto Rooter. Model number. Type, uh, looks like I'll just put vortex. Okay, description. It's an internet number. Okay, looks good, looks good. Let's go ahead. Okay, 14 days. Control all. Make this black, font size 12, make it a little bigger, Redanda, okay. And that looks good there. 
All right, fixed price, buy it now price. Okay, that's shipping, so gotta add the shipping costs. Check out, let's remove this. And the price with shipping is 25.88. Pull up the calculator, 25.88 times 1.40, 36.23. Thirty-six twenty-three. Coining one. PayPal. That looks good. Free shipping. Two business days. Use global shipping program. Weight one to two pounds. Okay. Shipping all done. Continue. List your item. List your item, and I'm done. So as you can see, that didn't take that long. Uh, only five minutes and seventeen seconds. Could have done a little bit faster, but my internet was being a little slow. But yeah, typically you can do it when three, four, five minutes. It depends on how much. Um, thinking you have to do for the title and things like that but that's how you create a listing from start to finish so go ahead and start listing some items in your store okay find the sources make sure you optimize your title make sure you optimize your images make sure you price it correctly and it's as simple as that so go ahead and get your store started and what I would do is whatever limit you have for your store, you want to go ahead and max out that limit as fast as possible. When you're starting brand new, your limit is probably only 10 items or $1,000 worth of items. So max out that limit, start your store, and start selling. And when you do sell your first item, I would love to hear a discussion. Please post in the discussion notes that you sold an item and uh, even post up the amount of profit you made on your first sale because I remember my first sale my first sale I made three dollars and I was excited and happy because I knew that was the first three dollars to start of a very successful and very big business and you know within fast forward eight months I started making about fourteen thousand dollars that month you know so go out there and generate your first sale make your first profit and excited to hear about it Gaga, 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 gaga